you could try to bully, like to get the blue stone, just kind of smack yep. them around. 2v2 on the right hand side. Looks like just a steal attempt, and they will indeed take it away, but. The action's actually on the left-hand side of the map where Kaiju- And based on where- Well, oh, hang on a second. Bear would just dove the tier one tower oh, to take down Joshi. That is insane that not only, I mean, you had the health bar to do that, but also thought to step in there. And will find the damage after the fact is Miggy needs one more bit of it, but won't find the sash and instead finds the gray screen as Miggy gets Hunt. The rotation is great from Joshi. Mando picks up one. Jisoo finds another and finds a double kill at the end of it. Barrow able to trade one back, but the late rotation from Oblivion gets him a three for one. And Mickey's there to help out, but be there a little bit later as Runas into the ultimate. Guy J grabs a kill on the other side of the map, but this fight is far from over as Relentless One combines with the damage and Miggy finds Jisoo. Runas now without the ultimate for safety needs a little bit more damage and is diving the tower for it. Miggy with a <laughs> double kill and a three for zero across the map as Joshi Finds the rotation, gotta look out for Peru nice. though. He trades one back but with this dive in, you should get the trade back and a four for one. Our scorpions find blood. And yet they're still the ones trying to force the issue, clearly thinking that either they have an opportunity or maybe the game's getting away. Guy J though, no jump away, gets pulled back, has to drop the suns and everything there to try and get him out of this engagement. But Mando comes in with the jump and needs one more auto to hit. And Guy J is here to help as well. But this is a 4v4 here to start things off as I'm a monster channeled, only hits Miggy as Bayro gets the kills through through the wall. It's a three man swing for the Aru Scorpions to lose two in the process though. Three man knock up comes through from Rundus trying to zone and Oblivion take down the Pyromancer with a fight after the fact. Miggy takes down Dashboard to start things off and it looks like he'll survive. In the meantime, he's getting away just barely, but the knock up is enough and it's a one for one. Make it a two for one as Bayro finds Jisoo in the mid lane. To the fire giant being held right around that half HP mark. In fact, they're off the objective. They're on to the damage, and Rundus will be the first to fall. Dashboard pulls back in two, and Jisoo is there on the dive. But Barrow finds safety, and the I'm a monster is off the mark on the other side of the fight. Miggy will fall. And a one for one as the Oblivion squad looks to continue the chase down, not Gino and Kai J uh -oh. in a rough set of missing HP all the way across the board for the Oblivion side of things. So gonna have to back up and just be satisfied with the two for one they got, which all things considered, because remember our Scorpions, the ones that were for a little bit of damage, but now the tank is low. Gino's gonna dodge his way oh, out of the two man ultimate is huge for Oblivion as they pull back the Miggy trying to make the space in the front line Barrow into the ultimate the taunt back hits two and they're caught in the damage Barrow and Guy J combine to take down some members and Oblivion now on the retreat Runus running the wrong way as the poor members of the Scorpions find the double kill onto the soul laner and just like that the Scorpions have the space in the FG Man, you can be off the mark with that, but you hit two with a landfall this time around, but the follow-up is not there. Guy J is caught separated from the rest of his squad, though, and has to turn around a little bit of the damage, but will end up falling in Miggy. Toward the support, Rundus is in as well. They want more. Blink in from Jisoo as the chase is on the tanks that got pulled back in originally, and they're finding the retreat in the jungle. Relentless one won't make it out alive and Gino and Bayro. But it's a separated fight as Miggy and Relentless One combine to find Mando Warrior. The ADC now without the buff and Jisoo might join him in the gray screen. Just a little bit more damage and they have to hit him through the wall. They will. Grouped up as five. Main Jisoo maybe looking for the engagement around the back and finds a couple with the ultimate as low health bars and these scorpions are falling down. A one for one trade though. Finds the escape on the left hand side it's so much damage into these tanks and at this point they've wasted so much time dashboard will fall but that's a 30 second delayed death timer
So there to finish off the kill. I'm a monster nice. comes through and relentless ones. The first to fall, not Gino forced to use the shell, but look for over the wall, Joshi. The timer runs out just barely big for them there and oblivion want to force the fight it's a great pin in a landfall you pull back gino but it's only the tank and he gets the suns dropped on top of him you have the damage though and that's a pick for oblivion early on there on the follow-up the other monsters off the mark and baroneri gets a kill through the wall as joshi falls first in the fight he'll survive as well and what a defense from the scorpions the landfall hits too but the follow-up just off the mark beautiful engage the blinking grabs both carries and you burn the relics to start the fight but nobody is there to help jisoo it's just ruined us who comes in a little bit later all the while though miggy kills mando on the other side of the fight joshi trades back but jisoo on the engage he gets no follow up the carry survive and kaizo this fire giant is still under threat relentless one takes down joshi the FG, and they're looking for the fight after the fact. Jisoo caught in the suns, and the Dharmic Pillars shred down the protections. But the ultimate will be good for the survival until Dashboard still low HP, and Joshi's now joining the fight back from base. They don't want to overcommit here, and they've Joshi has come over the wall with the I'm a monster, and Relentless One gets punished. Landfall off the mark, and Barrow not Gino looking for the combos. It's Miggy takes one up and I'm a monster misses the health bars look at them for oblivion they're so low Kai J takes down ruined us one more will fall Bayro finds a double kill the surrender boat has it'll be relentless one taking him down and a four man swing on the attempted phoenix the Aru scorpions with EFG on four they answer back it's only jisoo here to defend against five and and guys i don't think he can do it it's a tall task for any player any build any god but surrender vote will oh unfortunately my. go through there but what can you do at that point man because oblivion 53 minutes almost 54 full minutes of gameplay there safety come through maybe not the safety though there for joshi is he doesn't have the same level of escape and pharaoh finds the first blood and the combo comes through they're looking to trade him back but he'll find the pluck and the damage is there and Jisoo gets the trade back mid laner for mid laner, but look at Miggy, the rotation coming over and Dashboard does a great job of body blocking. Clear on to Joshi, but the good peel from Jisoo maybe will get his mid laner out alive and maybe sacrifice his own life to save out the mid laner there. They will take the gold fury at the end of it, but we've got three members over oh, here Joshi. on the right hand side. This has left Joshi alone in the mid lane and he's putting on the Duke shoes. Won't be enough to survive though, as he will fall down the fourth ADC rotations even. And a mid wave under that tier one tower is Joshi with the Raiju damage gets taken down just for stepping a little bit too far forward. Dashboard uses the ultimate and tries to make his way out of there, but will not be successful. And now you've got the rotation from Mean Jisoo coming through. And they'll at least trade one back, but a two for one kill trade. To start things off and they bring the beads off of Bayro at the same time mando takes down the soul laner though at the same time gold fury falls to the scorpions on the left hand side and mando man they're they're looking for something he's caught between the wall and the pillar and he can't make it out of there the ultimates come through and they get the killing spree on to mando they finally get the pick they were looking for and it's off the back of a beautiful pillar I don't know if they, they want to full commit to this. It's Dashboard, though, and he says yes resoundingly, and it's immediately not heard as he goes under the gray screen, as maybe it's the chase over commit like they did yesterday. Yeah, Runas has to be careful. He's not over positioned here as he will not, he won't make it under the ground. He's not behind the safety in this fight. And in fact, it's a complete collapse for the Aru Scorpions. The Oblivion team all goes into the gray screen. It's just two members left alive as 
in to the fight. I don't think he knew the health of the fire giant. So they'll get four in total. And the Aru Scorpions take advantage of a huge misstep from Oblivion. Link in from Dashboard. He finds the pluck, burns the beads, but loses his life for it. And Mickey on a killing spree finds the last hit. The Titan not under pressure. Because oh, no. you're not getting any value and you're dying. For it. Oh no, Jisoo gets sniffed out here and is forced to use the ultimate early. He will not make it out of there alive. This is Ma Amanda Warrior doesn't want to be here. I think he he knows that he doesn't want to be here. I don't think he really has a choice of being here though. <laughs> not his happy place. Not, not his happy place on the left hand side of the enemy team at this point though maybe oh, he's gotten a little bit too far away from the rest of his team that he can't help out joshi right there dashboard he's now the one under pressure and he's in the ultimate he's finding the so like, clock away but i mean man the damage is just so strong and he'll lose his life as well i don't even know that they need the efg kaizo is three members strong they've got Iron Minions pushing in to the base. Main Jisoo will fall as well. Guy J on a rampage to end this one out. And in 30 minutes, no fire giant needed. The Aru Scorpions will take this at 2 0. It's going to be close. There's actually a lot of damage returning from Rundus here. No, no, no. They they got it. They got it. Okay, okay. okay. I, I was trying to play it up for the cameras, but <laughs> they do end up taking the set, as you said. And. It's, it's so tough to watch Oblivion go down like this, man. 